wanted to talk about something quickly that has been on my mind for the past week or so. Um, it's kind of just been gnawing at me, so I wanted to sort of get it out there. <clears throat> and that is, it's going to be such a cliche, following your passion. Uh, it's funny because like, I feel like, you know, back in the day, meaning like five to 10 years ago, following your passion was like this huge, it was like all the rave. It was like, you should follow your passion. Like, don't go the conventional route, follow your passion. And I feel like it's just become such, it's such a played out concept at this point that for my gen, like for millennials, my generation, um, <clears throat> it's, it's become as mainstream of a concept as the idea of like getting a stable job. Like it's become the ver that version of that. Like everybody wants to be like an entrepreneur or artist now um, because it's just like the mainstream like thing to do. Um, and you even see that with companies trying to tailor their, their like work experience to being more like free and entrepreneurial. And like we have open desk space and a ping pong table and like you don't have to wear a suit, like all this stuff. <clears throat> so a side note, but <clears throat> what I wanted to sort of talk about more specifically was um, I think there's a really strong idea, um, in, in America, particularly, I haven't like lived as a young adult in any other country, so I can't speak for them, but I definitely notice it in America and definitely in New York where I am, um, <clears throat> that there's this concept that like, you need to have your life figured out by like a certain age, you know, and for obviously for different people, that age is going to be different, but there's this idea that like, if you don't, if you're still like trying to figure out what you want to do or, or you know what you want to do, but you're not making money yet, or like it's not going well, or you're failing a lot by the time you hit a certain age, then I feel like a lot of people start to like write you off as just like lost or, oh, he's just lost. Like he doesn't know what he's, or she doesn't know what she's doing. Um, and I think a lot of this comes from, uh, your parents um, wanting you to be safe, and you know it's no it's no fault of theirs. It's just they're they're doing the best they can to ensure that you have a career or you have some sort of lifestyle where you're taken care of and safe because that's their biggest goal as parents. Like that's a huge part of their life's um, you know like goal, and so I feel like that happens a lot. And then on the other hand, it's just society. It's just like it's in the best interest of society for people to <clears throat> generally like go a more conventional route and like not ask too many questions and not deviate too much um, and buy shit on Christmas and Black Friday and be good consumers. Like it's, it's in the interest of capitalism for, for people to just do that. <clears throat> so, you know, a lot of, that's why like a lot of alternative ideas like minimalism, for example, the idea of like, getting rid of most of your shit and only owning what you need <clears throat> uh, are frowned upon. Um, or, you know, the idea of quitting your job when you're 32, you know, like in the middle of your, supposedly like when you shouldn't be, when you shouldn't quit your job, it's like, oh, you should have done that when you were like 17 or 18 and traveling for five years. Like who is to actually say objectively that that's not a great idea and not the best thing that you could do for you personally. And the only person that's going to know that is you. But I think, um, a lot of times people have these like ideas that but when they get to a certain age, they are no longer allowed to experiment or they're no longer allowed to follow their passion or like people will say like, okay, I'm going to try to make this work until I get to a certain age. And then it's time to get serious as if like all those years that you're trying to make it work weren't serious. And <clears throat> I think the reason I, I, this has been on my mind so much is because I, I struggle with this so much, so, so much daily. Um, I have, uh, I'm, I'm in an incredibly fortunate, lucky position, um, but I have a lot of pressure from <clears throat> my, my family and from society to get like, be living at a, at a certain, like in a certain level of uh, like my lifestyle and stuff where like from the outside, people can look at it and just like approve of it and be like, okay, he's like, he's not doing anything too crazy. And like, he's fine. And, uh, and I struggle with that a lot and I'm, I'm 27. So I'm not like, <clears throat> I'm not, I'm still young, but I'm not like, I'm not 18, you know? Um, and <clears throat> I graduated from business school and just decided not to get a, a job. And I was lucky to be in a position where I could do that. 
Um, but I decided to just focus on music. And I, I do, I, I struggle a lot sometimes with the, the fact that I'm like, should I have just gotten a job? What if the music thing doesn't work out and all this shit? And I think a lot of that has to do with just uh, the influence of, um, of my, my parents and my family and society. But the biggest thing that I always try to remind myself is that the idea that you need to be at a certain level in your life by a certain age is total, it's a total delusion. It's actually bullshit. It's completely um, a, an arbitrary delusion that is set by biases and standards that are totally subjective to whoever set them. So like what I mean by that is like, <clears throat> you know, if you feel like by the time I'm 30, I need to like have my first house and like have like two kids and like <laughs> 2.5 kids and a white picket fence and like whatever like the average is for America by the time you're like 30. I don't know if that any of that is accurate, um, but you get what I'm saying. Like that's totally just based off of <clears throat> information that's come to you that is not actually grounded in any objective reality. Like who is to say that that's the right or wrong way to do it? And for some people that is the right way. For some people that's the wrong way. But the point I'm getting at is that the only person's opinion who, is, who matters when it comes to what is the right or wrong way to live your life is yours because you were born alone and you're the only person that has to be with yourself for your entire life. Not your mom, not your dad, not your romantic partner, nobody, your wife, husband, like even the most important relationships in your life, like it's still ultimately your life and it's your responsibility to figure out what exactly you want it to be and set it up that way and not let <clears throat> other people's opinions dictate it. And it's cool to like, take advice from other people and hear them out and listen to what they have to say, but ultimately it's your decision. And I really just want to like emphasize that because it, it means so much to me to like be able to um, embody that and live by that. And I know how, how hard it can be for me personally, a lot of the time, given the influences that are coming at me from all these different directions. And um, it's, it can be really, really, difficult to just stick to your truth of what you want to do with your life and uh especially when it's not going well like especially when you're when you're going through hard times or failures like right now i want to be i want to be a music producer i want to be an artist i want to be able to do that for a living and i know that <clears throat> i'm a long way away from making that into a reality but i'm working at it every single day i'm working at it and i, I know that <clears throat> if i just stick to it um hopefully it'll happen, but I have no way of knowing, right? So I'm stepping into the unknown, but <clears throat> I would much rather do that and feel all those feelings of doubt and insecurity and unworthiness and all the other shit, you know, um, as long as all the feelings of love and joy and creativity and passion and expression that I feel every day getting to make music, I would much rather feel that entire range of things than just do something that somebody else prescribed for me and feel fucking nothing. Cause that's always how I felt when I was doing something that someone else told me to do, nothing. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to get that out there because um, I think it's so, so important. I mean, we're living, in it, we're living in a crazy, crazy time right now where you can literally do anything you want and find people who, who fuck with it, who like it from the internet. I mean, like, we've never had that ability to distribute ideas and content the way that we do now and it's only going to get easier um and so it's just it's really really important to me to um share that with you guys and i just hope that people um whoever this resonates with like kind of like here's what i'm saying and hopefully like sees how that's playing out in their own life because um i'll be the first one to say that it's not it's really not easy like the whole idea of following your passion is way way easier said than done because you might know what you want to do and you might want to do it, but there's so many, so many things. And it's different for every person telling you that it can't be done, or that you can't do it. And even things within you saying like, you're not good enough, this and that. And all of that shit is bullshit. It's a delusion. It's a, the only thing that matters is that you're doing what you want to be doing. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll leave you guys with that. And, uh, 
<clears throat> I am I'm gonna try to start doing like a daily thing where I just it's not gonna be 10 minutes long every time I kind of rambled I know but <clears throat> I want to do a daily thing where I just talk about whatever I'm going through and uh, just the, the, my process and I just want to be as candid and genuine as possible um, <clears throat> about what it's like to just be somebody who's trying to be an artist and uh, kind of climbing up the mountain and looking up at the top and just feeling how far away it is, but still going to work. So um, I will see you guys later. Happy Thanksgiving.